Well, good afternoon, guys. Best advice I can give you <clears throat> is to stay hydrated. Get yourself a big old Yeti or something like that. Throw yourself your own personal stickers on there and uh, keep yourself hydrated. Um, you know, it's tough out here. It's uh, 94 degrees and um, we're spraying acid. So that's, uh, that's quite a deal, you know? Keep hydrated no matter what. We are all finished. I shot a video before uh, and I was talking to you about the sunglasses and keeping that acid off of there. Sometimes it's hard when the winds are blowing, but um, I'll turn you around and let you see what this looks like. So you can see here, all of the uh, rust iron and sulfur is gone from around there. You can see what that looks like in there. It looks absolutely beautiful. Uh, also in through here, we had acid all through here. I'm sorry, we had rust iron and sulfur, orange color faded all through there. And um, of course this fence as well, had some along here. And uh, see if we can open this gate without killing that lizard. Don't wanna crush him. Um, and then you can see what the, uh, the fence looks like all the way down. Looks just absolutely beautiful. Now we did have um, a couple of large nests um, and I since forgotten where they were, this very well could be once, oh, here it is, I'm sorry. You can see the little abrasion marks uh, and that was just done with a garden hose. Now I did spray, instead of the degreaser, we used a little LA Awesome on there um, and uh, immediately got the LA Awesome off the walls so it doesn't streak the walls and then we, um, uh, hit it with a garden hose and came off really, really well. So all of your mud dauber nests are completely gone from around side the house. All of the rust iron and sulfur that was along the side is now gone. Um, and the fence looks outstanding. So you can just see what that looks like all the way around here. And we had some real heavy, heavy areas right in through here. And you can just see how bright white and, and beautiful that is. Um, we also had a big uh, mud dauber nest up there which is now gone, another one right there. And uh, we had a little rust iron and sulfur that we removed from there. We had another big one just behind this camera right here, and you can't see any residual whatsoever. Um, all of this uh, got oxalic acid. This was a huge area right in through here, and you can just see how beautiful that is. Vinyl fence looks absolutely perfect. Um, and then we had here, we had another area where we did uh, we did this downspout here. We did all of the area that was in here, here, all through there, through there, and all through there. So you get an idea of what that looks like. And um, you gotta keep things wet. You gotta keep your grass wet. Otherwise your grass will fry. If you notice all these boards on the bottom got completely saturated with oxalic. And you can see that there's absolutely no burn marks uh, or dried grass where you'd see it sizzle. Um, another area in through here. This, of course, was really bad in through here. And then uh, right now we're, we're rinsing out um, our pump-up sprayer and we got all of this area in through here. So just goes to show you, you can knock some work out, but stay hydrated out there. Have a great day, everyone. Keep cleaning. Trevor Thompson, TNT Pressure Cleaning, dynamite service with explosive results.